Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to give you a very brief introduction to the file module and the image module in Drupal 8. The file module allows you to add an upload file um, field um, to any content type that you have uh, set up in Drupal. That includes the uh, default basic page and article uh, content type. Uh, or if you've uh, created a custom uh, content type, you can add it to that too. Similarly, the uh, uh, image module uh, allows you to add an image upload um, field type uh, to any content type that you might have added. These are core modules. You do not have to install these um, or um, uh, activate them. Uh, so you can just go to the uh, content um, uh, content Manager in Drupal uh, and go ahead and add these. So uh, let's get started. Um, uh, depending on how you set your toolbar, uh, you may have um, uh, set it up as a drop down here on the left or or um, uh, this toolbar up here activated by the um, uh, Manage. Uh, to get started, we need to go to Structure uh, and then we need to go to Content Types. Uh, you need to pick which of your um, uh, content types uh, we want to add the field to. Uh, I've uh, developed a, a, a very simple uh, what I call cars content type that just displays um, uh, records and models of cars. Uh, you need to select manage fields here uh, and then what we need to do is we need to go to add a field and we'll first um, uh, add the file upload field uh, and then I'll show you the um, uh, adding the uh, image upload field. Uh, their, their process is almost identical. So we'll uh, go click add a field. We're going to select the field type. Uh, you'll see that down here under reference file and image uh, are both already uh, selectable. So we'll click file. Uh, the label you add exercise some caution here. Um, uh, you'll see that I've been experimenting around, so uh, there are a couple of defaults here that are already entered. Uh, it, when, when you add a field, um, then the field that you add can be used um, across different content types. Uh, and so um, rather than just adding the label um, file or file upload, if you would want to reuse that, um, then you would be kind of stuck with that name uh, for um, all of the defaults that you've selected across any content types that you want to use it for. So, uh, and if that's what you want, that's fine. Um, that'll simplify things. But on the other hand, if you might want to use it and select certain defaults for one content type and other defaults for other content types, then you want to be specific about um, uh, the, the name that you choose for the label. So I'm going to select car file upload here that specifies that I'm using this for the car content type and it's a file upload. Uh, so I'm going to click save and continue at this point. Uh, we get to choose some default options for this. Enable display field will let us um, select whether or not the file and is, is actually displayed uh, on the content type when we enter a new record. Uh, and that'll make more sense when I show you uh, the record as we um, uh, save this and then go to enter a new record. But I'm going to enable this for now and then show you what that does. Uh, and then um, uh, when you select that, we get to choose whether or not that option is the default when we go to enter new records. Um, uh, upload destination. Um, the default is public files. You can also choose to select a, a private destination. I'm not going to go into that. If you have questions about that, you can go to the uh, Drupal uh, documentation uh, and it will explain how to set that up. It's a little bit more complicated to set that up. Uh, we also get to display the allowed number of values for this particular uh, module. It's either limited uh, or unlimited uh, and that refers to whether or not you can select only one file at a time to upload or whether you can multi-select files to upload. I'm going to go ahead and save the uh, field settings 
uh, for this. Uh, and now we get to choose uh, how we want to set that up uh, on the um, uh, uh, actual uh, file upload selections. Uh, the label uh, that we choose here is the friendly label that's going to appear when we want to create a new record. Uh, so we may not want that uh, machine name here. Uh, we might do something uh, that might be applicable. This is that we want to upload the Carfax report. So we'll choose Carfax here. Uh, we might want to enter some help text here, upload. Uh, we can indicate whether we want this to be a required field. That is, you have to upload the Carfax report in order to save the record, or perhaps um, not, in which case you leave that blank. You can specify what the um, allowed file extensions are if you want to limit that. Uh, so that might be text, uh, doc, docx, and PDF. Um, that would prevent people from uploading, say, executable programs or PowerPoints or whatever. Uh, and uh, you want to put something there uh, and don't include the leading dot, as it says. File directory would be... Um, Alternative file destinations, there, there's a default public files directory that if you just leave this blank, um, that's where it'll go. Uh, you could put an alternative file directory here if um, uh, that's where you wanted things to go. Or uh, as I mentioned before, there's also a way to set up private file directories. Uh, and I'd refer you back to the Drupal documentation for that. You can specify the maximum upload size if you want to limit this to prevent people from uploading huge files. Um, there's also, uh, if you go back to the documentation, it may be necessary to uh, adjust some initialization files, PHP or .ht access. Um, uh, as, as a default, the way Drupal um, installs, there's a default limit of two megabytes total. Um, you can also increase the default file size overall for Drupal, but then limit um, the file size that um, you allow to be uploaded here. Uh, you can also enable a description field uh, that allows you to, um, uh, when you uh, select the file to upload, to also uh, enable a description uh, describing what that field is. Uh, so you can check that or leave that um, unchecked at your preference. So go ahead and save the settings. And now you can see that um, uh, the uh, Carfax um, field is um, uh, here along with the other uh, custom fields that have been defined for this content type. Uh, so now that that's done, we can go back to uh, the main site. Uh, and we can go ahead and add content, and I'll show you what this looks like uh, for our car content type. Uh, we have a title. Uh, we can call this um, test file item, although uh, this might be, you know, Ferrari or, you know, whatever kind of car we're uh, talking about. Here's our body description. Um, Uh, the color of the car is a blue one. Uh, the options are four on the floor. Um, and here's our optional upload. Um, so we're going to choose a file. I'm going to just go to um, my desktop and grab something. Oops, I'm going to have to grab a text file. There we go. Uh, so now that we can see, um, we've got a test file here, um, and I'll enter a description. That was the optional description, and I'll say it's Carfax, um, and I'll go ahead and uh, say that it's published, and I'll go ahead and save that. Uh, so now we can see in um, uh, the view of the item uh, that we do and have, have in fact, our um, uh, uploaded file here. We could click on it uh, and take a look at it. Uh, and uh, I don't know what that is, um, but if you click on it, uh, it will display uh, or you could download it or whatever you wanted to do. Uh, let's take a look at the edit options here and do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to right click this uh, and I'm going to uh, copy the link address. 
And then I'm going to uncheck this Include File on Display. And that goes back to that first option that we had about whether uh, or not to display the item uh, when, we, when we view this record. And I'm going to uncheck that box. Um, I could also remove it here if I wanted to um, uh, take this um, uh, take this um, file out of out of the record, uh, but I'm going to save it. Now, when we view it, we see that this um, file does not uh, display anymore. Uh, so, uh, but we can go back and edit it, uh, and then what I could do up here uh, is paste in uh, that URL. Let me do it this way. So now I've captured the URL where it exists on the Drupal server, and that's our default public file site. Uh, now, if, if I had a better editor in here, and there are other editors that you can add uh, uh, to Drupal rather than just this um, uh, default editor, uh, you could also uh, do a friendly link address like, you know, link to Carfax report um, and, and click on that instead of this uh, URL. Uh, but the point is, is that you can, uh, on the display of the record, uh, take off that direct link uh, from here and put the link up here in the body text. Uh, so I think that's probably all I need to do to cover uh, the um, uh, files field. Let me now display the uh, image uh, upload and uh, it's pretty much the same thing again we go to manage we go to structure we go to content type uh, we go to uh, our content type that we want to add the field to go to manage fields we can go to add field uh, we select the field type uh, we go to image uh, again our cautionary uh, tail uh, will go to car um, image, upload, uh, save and continue. Um, here, uh, be careful, this is a default image and, and you're not choosing a file at this point. Obviously, this is to put a field in there for somebody to upload. So in almost all cases, um, you'll leave this blank. Uh, but if there is a default image you want uploaded every time somebody goes to enter a new record for this, then, then you could at this point. Um, choose a default image. But what they're asking for is a default, not for you to enter a file at this time. Uh, and again, we have the limited um, or unlimited, whether they would choose just one image file at a time uh, or whether uh, they would um, um, be able to, to tag multiple images to upload. We'll go ahead and save that for right now. Um, now again, uh, uh, car image upload. You can certainly add some help text if you feel it necessary. So we can say upload an image of the car. You can make that a required or optional field. Leave it blank if you want it optional. Um, uh, click the um, uh, checkbox if you want it to make it required. Again, you can specify a default image if the um, uh, user doesn't um, uh, enter one. So, um, you know, this could be, for example, um, if if the if if during upload you don't have an image of the car and you want to install just a, a grayscale image of a generic car, then that would be for uh, perhaps an example of of um, what you might want to do here. Uh, again, the allowed file extensions. This defaults for the uh, image uh, module to, uh, you know, these. Um, maybe you want to add uh, BMP. Um, so add a comma and then BMP. Uh, again, the file directory um, option. Um, uh, usually you just leave this uh, blank unless you have a separate directory where you want to upload images, for example. You might have a separate image directory. Uh, that could be. You can specify both maximum and minimum uh, image requirements. Um, uh, if you specify a maximum image, um, Drupal is going to uh, resize it. Now, you, you need to have an image library installed. Um, depends on whether or not um, 
uh, you've installed an image library, so check the um, check the documentation for that to make sure that you you have an image library installed. Um, uh, there's there's a maximum upload size, so you can have a maximum image resolution that will resize the image. You can also uh, specify a maximum upload size. Uh, and again, my previous comments uh, uh, apply about the uh, current limit, whether or not you might have to uh, make that bigger. Uh, with uh, two, two megabytes is, is pretty small for images these days, so uh, be sure to check that out. Uh, you want, probably want to enable the alt field. That's a short discrimage of the um, uh, image used by screen readers. Um, uh, that defaults to yes. Um, uh, and it, that you probably want to enable that. And uh, you may even um, uh, need to uh, require that for, um, that has to do with um, a disability, um, uh, uh, whether or not you have to comply with disability requirements and so on. Uh, and then um, enable the title field, the title um, uh, attribute that, that when you hover over uh, the mouse, um, uh, that's kind of like a tool tip. Um, that's actually not recommended because that can cause problems with screen readers, so that defaults to no. Uh, go ahead and save the settings. Uh, and then you can see that you've added this um, uh, image upload. Uh, and, and then we can go again uh, back to the site uh, and we can see that um, uh, now uh, when we go to um, home and we'll add content uh, and we'll go to cars and we'll add a new car and we'll do this is our body and I think we'll make this one red and uh, options um, let's see we'll give this one uh, 454 and um, we'll uh, dot add a, another file uh, but we'll do the car image upload and I have no idea what that is. It's probably a screenshot of something or other. Yeah, something like that. And um, this is my car picture. And we'll save that. Oops, Oops. Uh, forgot we made that a required file field, didn't we? So we'll go ahead and add whatever we added before. Okay, so we'll save that. And now when we look at this, we can see that we've got our image here and uh, we've got the transcript. Uh, and um, so that's pretty much there is all there is to it. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, uh, there are, are more options, some things you can do. So refer back to the um, uh, Drupal documentation uh, and um, thank you.